And by the way, why we have only options that media want us to have. For example, when I'm coming to media, I should be pro-Palestini or pro-Israeli. Is this necessary? Should I be one of them? Or should I be just the man who is talking about truth? If you decide that I'm pro-Palestini or Israeli, then how you should solve this conflict? So we have something that we call half truth. And when you don't know about these tactics, you become the victim. So once you are divided, you are divided by half truth. And what is half truth? Half truth is something that you should listen the part that you have to listen, not the part that make you to listen everything. For example, you're watching me with a knife and they're telling you that Shekeb has this knife to kill you. But they're not telling you that Shekeb has this knife to cut the cake. So they're only showing you the, the knife and me. Hi, I'm Sadaf Ruhi. Welcome to uh, Question Everything. Today we have Dr. Shikib and we have general question from them. Uh, are you pro-Palestine or pro-Israel? Well, that's a technical question and I believe uh, before deciding which category I am, I should say why we should select to be pro-Palestine or pro-Israeli. And by the way, why we have only options that media want us to have. For example, when I'm coming to media, I should be pro-Palestini or pro-Israeli. Is this necessary? Should I be one of them? Or should I be just the man who is talking about truth? As you know, uh, I'm watching lots of programs. One of them is, uh, refers to Paris Morgan. And whenever he introduces people, he say these words. For example, he say, hijab is pro-Palestini or when he has other guests, he used the word pro-Israelis. And this is a tactic uh, that removes truth from media and it categorizes into different parts. If you decide that I'm pro-Palestini or Israeli, then how you should solve this conflict? So we have something that we call half truth and when you don't know about these tactics, you become the victim. So whenever I'm going to media and somebody tell me that you're pro-Palestini, I'm saying, no, this is wrong. I'm the man who talk about truth. And I should decide what to say about Palestinians. And I should decide what to say about Israeli. So if I'm saying I'm pro-Palestini, then I almost decide that I'm working with Palestinians or I am uh, with Palestinians, then how should I say the truth? I cannot say the truth. So first of all, before categorizing people or before deciding to be uh, in one of the categories, you should learn the tactic that media use. You, you see in America, there is right wings and there is left wings, right? You see in the war which is happening in Russia and Ukraine, you will see the people that support Ukraine and you will see the people that support Russia. And there is many people and there is many issues that there is always division. People are divided into two parts and that's why we cannot understand each other. That's why we, can, we cannot understand the feelings of each others. If you are talking to an, an Israeli that many child are dying in Palestine, they don't care because media almost told them that you are pro-Israeli. You should not listen to the news which is talking about Palestine. And whenever you are talking to Palestinians about Jews that, that are scared, they don't care anymore because they almost decide that they are pro-Palestini. And this division become a business. You want to be popular? Okay, you should choose a side. Like, like hijab is a pro-Palestini. And if he support Israeli, so he will lose her, his, his fame in Muslim community. And also Ben Shapiro, he is pro-Israeli. So if he talk about the truth which is happening in Gaza about the genocide, he will lose all his supporters in Israel. 
So first of all, you should remove this tactic from media to be divided, to be in a part. It's a tactic of media? Yes, for sure, it's a technique of media to divide us. And that's why you see in a family, a wife is fighting with his husband. And husband is fighting with his wife. Because she is feminist and the man is masculine. So they are dividing us. Instead of bringing the truth that I am a man, I should be masculine. You are a female, you should be a feminine. And this feminine and masculinity should work together. So media and the propaganda of evil is kind of dividing people to fight with each other. Another question, what health truth uh, of media do to people? That's a good question. So the, I, I told you, the, the first tactic that media use is to divide people in groups. For but example. why do they divide the people? Because they, if, if you are not divided, then there is no war, there is no problem. And if there is no problem, then who will listen to media? If there is no fight, listen, look, there are people that they are producing guns, bombs, tanks for war. And if there is no war in this world, this company will collapse. So what you will do, you will support both sides. You will sell your guns to both sides and you will make money. I will give you an example. The people that are working in war area, first step, they are building a company which produce uh, the war machines. Secondly, they are working with politicians to make them friends and tell them to lobby for war. Thirdly, when the war starts, they are supporting both sides. For example, there was a big lobby in America to attack Iraq. And once they attack Iraq, in both sides that they are fighting each other had the same guns. So once you are divided, you are divided by half-truth. And what is half-truth? Half-truth is something that you should listen the part that you have to listen, not the part that make you to listen everything. For example, you're watching me with a knife and they're telling you that Shekeb has this knife to kill you. But they're not telling you that Shekeb has this knife to cut the cake. So they're only showing you the, the knife and me. So health truth can divide people into different parts. Can we be free of health truth media techniques? Yes, for sure. You should understand to listen to both sides. Uh, for example, you are watching in TikTok as a pro-Palestinian only the footage uh, that are Palestinian dying in Gaza in a genocide. And then you are saying, I am right because there is a genocide happening in Gaza. And those people which are pro-Israeli, they are only watching the footage uh, that uh, Israelis punished by uh, some extremists and they're saying that no, Israelis right and Palestinians are wrong. So to understand uh, this technique, you should learn that the TikTok algorithm only show you the thing that you like. So if you are pro-Palestinian, you will only watch the footage of Palestinians. But if you are pro-Israeli, the TikTok will only show you the footage of Israelis. And that's how you think that you're right and I'm thinking that I'm right. So if you want to solve this issue, you should listen to each other instead of debating with each other. If you watch the program of Paris Morgan in different side, everybody's try to talk, everybody's trying to win. Actually, th these programs shouldn't be uh, like a war. Even Paris Morgan in his program used the title like Paris Morgan versus Hijab, Paris Morgan versus Ben Shapiro. Bro, there is not a war between you and this media. You're not trying to propagate for a war. You're trying to deliver the truth. And when you're trying to deliver the truth, why you're saying Shakeb versus Sadaf? Why? You should listen to each other. You should understand each other. And if you want to listen, and if you want to understand, and if you want the solution, so you should remove the tactic of half-truth, half and you should remove the tactic of division, and you should talk to each other. You should understand what is the reality in the ground. And the only solution is 
that you should understand both sides. They just show us the dangerous side of the, an issue, not the good side of this. This is a health truth. Yes, for example, they are telling you that Dr. Shakib uh, is a bad person because uh, uh, one of his patients is not happy with him. But he is not talking about thousands of patients which are happy from me. Now you are saying, okay, he's a bad boy. I will give you an example. There is a country, they are saying that it is the safest country for uh, baby birth. Mm -hmm. No baby will die in that country in 10 years. So that's why it's the safest place for baby birth. So are you agree if in a country no baby die in 10 years, that's the safest place? Mm -hmm. So this is a health truth. I'm agree with that, that in 10 years, no new baby born will die in a country. So that is the safest place for a new baby born. So that's the health truth. What is the full truth? The full truth is that in, ha that, that, that in 10 years, there was only one baby born in that, that, that country. You understand me what I'm saying? Like if I say that Afghanistan is the safest place for tourists, and because in 10 years, no tourists will die in Afghanistan. Everybody will say, yeah, that's true. But what if I tell you that no tourist has been come to Afghanistan? If there is no tourist, how they will die? So that's the health truth. This, that's the tactic of health truth that media is trying to push us. Media is, media is trying to, uh, me, to, to manipulate us. And that's why I believe that most of Afghans that are not in country and they are now talking uh, in English and they forgot their own uh, language, they should understand these things in Pashto and in, in dairy and even in English. I, I saw lots of my, my uh, friends that are coming from external country, like from America, and they're talking, Shikib, you Afghans are bad people, you're terrorists, you're extremists. Why? He's also an Afghan. Yeah, he's also an Afghan, but, but he's listening to the media, which give him health truths. So that's how we can solve this issue, to listen to both sides and to not categorize ourselves into one side.